here are my top tips and tricks when working with dynamic data in Bubble. What's dynamic data? Well, it's basically anywhere that you see this click option or if you were to clear it all the way out and you're clicking in an input uh, in the Bubble App Builder where you get this uh, blue tag that says insert dynamic data. So here are some things that I've seen people struggle with and it's actually led them to believe that they can't do something that you actually can do in Bubble. So I'm going to be using this DeepSeek uh, demo app. If you want to see the full video how I built this, you can go and check it out. It's only a few weeks old. Um, but basically, I'm taking this API call. And if you're unfamiliar with the API connector, don't let this daunt you. I'm effectively inserting a dynamic value into this uh, placeholder, this dynamic value, this variable spot in the DeepSeek uh, API call. Uh, so what I've got on my page is I've got an input and I effectively want to take what's in the input and put it into my deep seek API call and then I'm send, saving, not saving, putting the response into a custom state. So here are a few different ways I can go about it and I'm just going to go through them because it shows you a variety of approaches for using dynamic data in Bubble. Uh, so first of all, I've just got message here and uh, I can just go ahead and select my multi-line input A's value. And now because I'm using the API connector, I need to make this JSON safe because I've left out the speech marks here and I want to uh, allow for if my users are going to input some special characters or symbols, I don't want it to cause a syntax error with the JSON in the API call. So in this particular instance, I go value and I go JSON safe. And that's going to work. That's what I had for starters. I believe this is what I had in the video. But what if I want to add in some additional data as well? Uh, so it's almost like a system prompt, but actually I'm bulking out the, the user, uh, user message with additional content. So I'm going to clear this out because uh, what, I, what I can't do is go like multi-line input A, and then I'm clicking at the end. This is one of those tips. So I'm not clicking on the blue. I'm not clicking on more because that's an extension of the value in yellow. Uh, I have to click to the right of what's left and then I can put a space in. And then you might think that you can just type something like you are a helpful assistant, okay? And that could work in other places in your bubble app, maybe if you're just saving data into the database, but this isn't going to work with an API call because I need to make all of this JSON safe. It's not just enough to add JSON safe here, uh, and then I can't add JSON safe to the end of this bit uh, because it's not, a, it's not a dynamic bit of text. So I want to JSON safe all of it. Now the best way to do that is to use arbitrary text because that allows you to group together a big ex long expression of text and apply the JSON safe modifier to it. So now I can write something like you are a helpful assistant. Okay, and I'm going to put two line spaces and I'm now going to, oh, there we go, easy mistake to make. There we go. Insert dynamic data and I can go multi-line input A's value. Okay, now that's going to work exactly the same way. That's not going to cause a syntax issue with the JSON and I'm I am as the app builder adding in a like a fixed bit of the prompt uh, and you might find that useful in your app. But, but what happens if we swap this round or even if we were to group together lots of inputs? Let's for example add in, um, uh, imagine this is like an AI response based on the form so we could say what is your name? And then we could say, uh, what is your job? Okay, and so the uh, message that the user sends to the AI is going to be all three things. It's going to be what they put in the multi-line input plus these two fields here. So how do I combine those together? Well, I'm partway there because I'm going to use arbitrary text. Remember, I'm, I'm not going to just list in, even though I can now go uh, name, value, JSON, that's not going to work because it's going to put uh, it's going to put speech marks around this expression, and then it's going to put speech marks around this expression, and that's going to cause a JSON syntax error. It's too many speech marks going on. So we take it back, and now I'm going to put something in like name, and then okay. This is why it, why it's tricky, and this is why I thought that it would be helpful to record a video about this. So I'm going to say name space. Ooh, what's going on there? Let's try that again. Insert dynamic data, name. 
So I don't need to JSON save this because it's all being JSON saved within the arbitrary text. I'm now going to click and this is just an odd behavior and this is perhaps the one number one thing that uh, is not helpful and is easy to get confused about which is that if I just type hello here it looks like it's on the next line but as soon as I click out of the box it's not going to do it this time around. Oh maybe bubbles in an update. Okay, what's happening? Let's try that. No, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Right, in order to actually demonstrate what's going on, I'm going to just make this a little bit shorter. Same name. Because what I'm trying to highlight, but it is going on to two lines. There we go. Is that, uh, so I've just shortened the uh, name of this element. So it looked like hello was on a new line but it's not and in fact it's going to go right on to the end of the input value so that could leave no space at all between the users with well, the input's name and hello so let's get rid of hello and so i actually need to add in another line space and here i can put job that is getting annoying i've not noticed that maybe it's just a bug with my browser I'm gonna go job i didn't put the line space in there we go job that's it job okay and now I want to put another line space in and another line space because I'm now going to say input I think that this is a bug with my browser maybe uh, notice one password was acting odd shouldn't be selecting all of that in one go classic time bad time to decide to record this video let's try that again yeah it shouldn't I'm not I'm not hitting any keyboard making it select all of that um, okay I am going to demonstrate one final bit here uh, right so that's how I would do it and I've got quite a few apps that run with this way of adding in data from a database from an external API into an API call and I do it just like this but what if this was so much bigger and so much more complicated, like it was a massive system prompt because I can use arbitrary text uh, formatted as JSON safe to do a system prompt. Um, and what if I just want to make this slightly easier to work with? Well, you can put arbitrary text inside of arbitrary text like that. So I um, don't need to JSON safe it, but I can now combine together like name uh, and the name field and then I'm going to put in job if you're experiencing this bug where it just selects it let me know in the comments okay because now that's an arbitrary text and so if I wanted to uh, in fact let me just generate a load of dummy content I've generated some uh, lorem ipsum using my raycast extension so what if I wanted to put arbitrary text and I just wanted to move this I can put in there and then if I right click there's no paste option if I go paste with my keyboard shortcuts it's actually going to put the text that's in the clipboard um, so if I wanted to actually add having right clicked on the blue uh, this is how you can copy and paste dynamic values. I need to basically put this ready placeholder in and then right click in there. And now I've got my arbitrary text. Okay, so uh, that's how you can copy and paste dynamic uh, content. You can even group dynamic content by using arbitrary text. It makes it slightly easier to copy and paste it around your app. Uh, hopefully that's been useful. Apologize uh, to, for the bug or if it's maybe my browser, I have to check it out. I am still using Arc. I want to check out Zen. Well, I have checked out Zen. Um, yeah, leave comments if you've got any questions uh, and uh, I'll definitely be taking a look.